Well guys, today is a sad day, but uh, we had to do this. We're here with uh, Natalie, Macho's uh, sister. Macho was the young guy, the 23 year old, that was hit and killed about two weeks on Bruce, on Bruce Street. At this point, they're still looking for who did it. And we need your help, we need your assistance assistance somebody saw something somebody knows something somebody needs to come forward to the police to the family and let them know what they saw this is something that you don't want to live with if you do know who is responsible for the death of this young man natalie tell us what's you know what's going through you your family we, we still can't believe it. I honestly thought that for a while. Going to his funeral, burying him, I would come to terms with it and in no way, shape or form has that been any type of true. I still beg him to come home and not to leave me. And it just, it makes no sense. Um, he had went out that night to Eclipse Bar and Lounge on Riverdale. He hung out, it was Thursday the 7th. And there was an event there and then he was supposedly dropped off at our home and then a few minutes I don't know how long later he was struck someone was there they called 911 there were multiple people at this club and someone has to know or seen something and you think you may not have an answer until maybe just go through your camera roll see do you see him in any photo? Do you see someone next to him? Anything, and just bring that forward, explain it to us. And one of the things that's disturbing is that the photo that we were shown from the video of the car, that car's on Riverdale, where this lounge is. So, so hold on, let me just get the, the picture, the, the frames that uh, we broadcasted, this is not by the scene of the accident? No, one of the first ones that they show is on Riverdale and you can see it for the the line marker on the middle of the street and then if you stare right behind it you see cop cars which is right by the third precinct. So how do they connect that car to the car that hit your brother? There's police cameras on Radford so they must have been able also to pull but in some of the photos the background you can't tell it because it's so blurry so at that point yeah that vehicle must have been on radford eclipse is right across from the police department isn't it yeah right, yeah. Ac right across and uh, none of those cameras that you know capture who went inside that car and outside that car not that we know no that's not something that has been disclosed to us well, maybe they know but they didn't disclose that information because you know sometimes police they, they have certain information that they don't disclose to the public mm -hmm. they keep it to themselves until yeah just for investigation mm -hmm. purposes yeah which makes sense but at the end of the day like i said there were multiple people around him someone that day did call 911 so maybe someone saw something and they may think that it's minute and not relevant but it could be very pertinent to this information so at this point we're literally begging it's been two weeks yesterday that he was in the hospital two weeks today since he's passed so we're begging at this point you have any type of information even if it was just a freak accident maybe you were inebriated behind the wheel and you hit him and you left and now you're scared like it's not like we're gonna sit here and put you on a stake and and make you go through a witch trial like we just need answers and we need justice for what happened to him you need closure yeah okay you're not pointing maybe like you said maybe it was an accident mm -hmm. uh, maybe the guy did not notice your brother was yeah. there but somebody needs to step forward the family yeah. needs closure for this accident we do we do yep. and if you were behind the wheel of that car or even if you know the person that was if you don't want to sit there and say your name anything like if you know the person you've seen this vehicle it, like we have the inf information for the detectives you can contact me or any of my siblings we're all on social media my sister-in-laws are on social media like you could sit there and tell us like oh I saw this or I heard that anything at this point like it'll be beyond helpful 
Yeah, well, you know, at this point, perhaps, if somebody knows something, all the information about the police department, we also have it mm -hmm. on this page as yes. we are broadcasting. Yes. It's called the police department because they better yes, yeah. handle, you know, mm -hmm. equip to handle with the... Yeah, with the information. Information, yeah. you know, because mm -hmm. they might call one of your family, you know, you or whatever. You might go a little bit upset, try to go and find the person. Never you know. At the end of the day, honestly, I just want an answer. I have no malicious intent behind it. I would never sit there and harm anyone because someone harmed my loved one, my baby brother. And having to live with that, I wouldn't be able to live with the guilt of, of harming someone else's loved one. Never. Guys, with the same using the same line and if you know who did this you probably don't want to live with you know with such a secret either you might want to step forward and talk to the authorities let them know what you know what you saw what you heard and what you see because this needs to a closure needs to be found you know you need to solve this yeah some type of justice for macho he, he didn't deserve this. There is no reasoning on this earth why we should have had to bury him at the age of 23. No. Guys, I'm not going to say which cemetery we are, okay, because the family don't want that disclosed. But uh, is it okay if I yeah. show the... Mm -hmm. This is where the Nacho is buried. Macho. Macho. Macho is, is buried, the tombstone is not there yet, so they have the lights that go on at night, but this is where he is. This is where he was laid to rest, to rest, 23 years of age. Shouldn't, that shouldn't be. And let me show you again the, the video, uh, the picture, so... so loving he really was and like he was a sarcastic little asshole but honestly when he loved you you knew it and he would do anything for you anything so guys please if you know something say something don't keep it yourself this is one of those secrets that you don't want to keep it you need to let it out Remember, it could be your brother, it could be your son, it could be your friend, and justice needs to be, needs to be served. No one is saying that the person who did it did it intentionally, but it did happen, and uh, and this needs to be closed, needs to be solved. Thank you guys for watching.